Well, thank you for listening. And I pray that this video has been very helpful to you. Uh, as you've heard sin described, judgment described, the person and work of Christ explained, and our response to the gospel. And thinking about on our analogy that we started with, that analogy of the doctor, the doctor coming into the room with good news. Often it means that there was bad news that came before. And now in the context of that bad news, we have great news. I hope that you see the gospel in a similar fashion, that you understand the bad news of our sin. We have sinned against God. Because of that sin, God, who is holy and just and righteous and perfect, is right to judge us for our sins. And that judgment is a terrifying judgment. And that judgment is a real judgment. And apart from Christ, we are hopelessly destined for an eternity of judgment, paying for our sin. But look at the great news. The doctor bursts into the room and says, I've got great news that God condescended to take the form of a man. God in the flesh, Jesus Christ came. He lived a perfect, sinless life where we could not. And being perfect, being sinless, Jesus Christ perfectly satisfies the righteous and just demands of God's law in our place. And then he is crucified. He's hung on the tree. He dies bearing the awful penalty of our sin in his body on the tree taking that penalty of sin that we rightly deserve and breaking the power of sin in the lives of those who would respond to the gospel rightly with repentance and faith. That Jesus Christ was risen from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures, proving that there will be a resurrection for you and I and proving that he conquered death fully and finally. So that's great news. Great news that we can trust and hope in Christ and Christ alone to save us from our sin. It's important to understand there's nothing that we can do. There is no good in us that will merit favor with a holy and just, perfect and righteous God. We must have the righteousness of Christ. His is the only perfect righteousness that will satisfy God's demands. We must be clothed in those perfect white linen garments of Christ's righteousness in order to be able to stand before God justified. It's all because of Christ. And so if you will turn from your sin, forsake living life for yourself, it's gonna burn. This life will be over. It'll be a vapor here one minute, gone the next. Forsake that life of living for yourself and turn to Christ. Turn and trust the Savior trust in Christ who has made provision in his own sacrifice, his own death for our sin. Trust him and be saved. Be right with God and live for eternity as a child in God's kingdom. Live for eternity in heaven, worshiping and praising God, worshiping and praising Christ for all eternity as a child of his. It's a glorious blessing. It's a glorious grace. It's an amazing grace that God gives in the gospel. If you've heard this and you have questions, we want you to be able to get answers to your questions. Please call us. You can call us at 407-971-SOULS, S-O-U-L-S, 407-971-7685. Or feel free to go to our website at www.cornerstoneorlando.org. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to hear your questions and make sure that you get answers to your questions. If you're here, come and visit us sometime. 3370 Snow Hill Road, Chuliota, Florida, C-H-U-L-U-O-T-A. That's zip code 32766. For me, I'm Pastor Mark Brashear, and from all the brothers that participated in this video, we'll be praying that this video is an encouragement to you, a blessing to you, and we look forward to hearing from you. God bless you.